Hi there, I'm Costa from CalDigit, and we're going to be taking a look at the brand new CalDigit Thunderbolt Station 3 Plus. This is our new Thunderbolt 3 dock. It provides up to 85 watt laptop charging in addition to 15 ports of connectivity. That's the most on any Thunderbolt 3 dock. We will have a quick unboxing and then we'll set it up and test it out. Okay, first we have the power cord. Now the power cord will be specific for your region. Then we have the Thunderbolt 3 cable. Now this is a certified 40 gigabits per second Thunderbolt 3 cable. Please only use 40 gig cables with the TS3 Plus. Some Thunderbolt 3 cables are actually only 20 gig. Don't use those cables with this device. And don't use any other type C cables such as the Apple charging cable that comes with the MacBook Pros. Then we have the power supply. Now the TS3 Plus does have 15 ports, so we need a power supply that's going to be able to supply enough power for all those ports. Next we have the rubber feet strips. These are for when you're using the TS3 Plus in a horizontal position and they will prevent you from scratching the device on your desk. Okay, let's take the TS3 Plus out. As you can see, it's a very compact device. Let's have a look at the front. As you can see, we have an SD card slot. Now this is an SD 4.0 UHS-2 card slot. Speed wise, you're looking at over 300 megabytes a second. Now a lot of other Thunderbolt 3 docks are actually using SD 3.0 and they're UHS-1. So speed wise, those docks are looking at just over 100 megabytes a second. So the speed that you are getting from the TS3 Plus is really great. Next to that, we have two analog audio ports. The first one is for connecting your headphones or speakers. The second one is for connecting a microphone, which is great if you're recording podcasts. Next to that, we have two USB ports. They are both USB 3.1 Gen 1, which is five gigabits per second. And for convenience, you do have both a Type-C port and a Type-A port. On the back, we have four more USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-A ports. Next to that, we have a USB 3.1 Gen 2 10 gigabits per second Type-C port. In fact, the TS3 Plus is the only Thunderbolt dock to feature a Gen 2 port. So why would someone need a Gen 2 port? Well, for example, if you're using really fast SSD storage and you want to get the maximum performance out of that drive, you need to connect it to a Gen 2 port. Now below that, we have two Thunderbolt 3 40 gigabits per second ports. The one labeled computer is the one that you will connect to your laptop, which will give you the full 85 watt laptop charging for both Mac and PC. The second Thunderbolt 3 port can be used for daisy chaining additional Thunderbolt 3 devices, or you can use it to connect a second monitor to the TS3 Plus. Next to that, we have a DisplayPort connector. The great thing about DisplayPort is that it allows us to connect to any type of monitor that we need. For example, I can connect to a DisplayPort monitor, HDMI, DVI, VGA, or even mini DisplayPort. So for example, if I wanted to connect a HDMI monitor, all I would need is a DisplayPort to HDMI cable. The maximum resolution possible through DisplayPort is 4K at 60 Hz. Above that, we have a digital optical audio port, which is great for connecting digital speakers or an amplifier. Then next to that, we have a gigabit ethernet port, so we can connect to a more consistent internet connection. Setting up your TS3 Plus for the first time is really easy. First, connect it to the mains. You will notice that the front LED light does not turn on yet. That is because it requires a Thunderbolt connection to the laptop. The first thing to do is plug in your Thunderbolt cable to the Thunderbolt 3 port labelled computer and then plug in the other end into your laptop. You will hear a noise and the connection has started and you will notice that the LED light is now on. The TS3 Plus does support 4K at 60Hz. We have gone ahead and attached an ASUS 4K monitor to the TS3 Plus. 
As you can see, we are getting the full 4K 60Hz resolution through the monitor. The TS3 Plus supports two 4K 60Hz monitors. In order to connect two monitors, it is really simple. First, connect one monitor to the DisplayPort connector. And as I mentioned previously, you can connect any type of monitor using the DisplayPort connector. Then, to connect the second monitor, you will need a USB-C video adapter like the one we sell at CalDigit. This one is a USB-C to HDMI 2.0 adapter. And you would simply connect this to the spare Thunderbolt 3 port and then connect the HDMI cable to that. This would allow you to connect dual 4K 60Hz monitors. The TS3 Plus supports up to 85 watt laptop charging for both Mac and PC. I have the TS3 Plus connected to the 15 inch 2016 MacBook Pro and I'm going to go into the system report and under power I will look at the amount of wattage that is being supplied. And as you can see at the bottom, the TS3 Plus is supplying 85 watts. Now if you're using the 13 inch MacBook Pro, which comes with a 60 watt charger, the TS3 Plus will only supply the 60 watts required by the 13 inch MacBook Pro. The Thunderbolt Station 3 Plus is also compatible with Thunderbolt 3 Windows PCs. Now a lot of other Thunderbolt 3 docks on the market are compatible with Windows PCs from a connectivity standpoint, but they won't charge Thunderbolt 3 PCs. The TS3 Plus will provide up to 85 watt laptop charging in addition to 15 ports of connectivity for Windows PCs. I've gone ahead and connected the CalDigit Tough SSD drive to the USB 3.1 Gen 2 port on the back of the TS3 Plus, so we can do a speed test and compare the performance. I will go ahead and start the speed test. As you can see, straight away we're getting really great write speeds through the Gen 2 port and really great read speeds, over 500 megabytes a second. To give you a comparison, we have connected the Tough SSD drive to one of the USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports on the TS3 Plus, and we can take a look at the performance in comparison to the Gen 2 port. As you can see, the write speeds are over 300 megabytes a second. Now that's still really great performance. And on the read speeds, over 350 megabytes a second. So if you're going to be using SSD storage devices, we do recommend using the USB 3.1 Gen 2 port for a boost in performance. With the new Type-C cable standard, it can be quite confusing about which cable to use with the TS3 Plus. Now the cable we include in the box is a fully certified 40 gigabits per second Thunderbolt 3 cable that can provide up to 100 watt of power delivery. For example, here we have the CalDigit USB 3.1 Gen 2 cable, which provides 10 gigabits performance, as well as 60 watt power delivery. As you can see, they both use the same Type-C connector, but they offer drastically different performance. Also, we recommend not to use the Apple charging cable that came with the MacBook Pros when using the TS3 Plus, as these cables only offer USB 2.0 performance.